Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Um, today I wanted to film a what's in my bag, a uh, coach court edition. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Salsa, Furla, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. So this is a Coach Court vintage bag. If you haven't seen um, my other videos on this bag, I will link them in the description box below. Um, but today I just wanted to show you kind of what fits in the bag and how I pack it. The bag is pretty simple, so it just has a little top handle here. It has a front flap with a turn lock closure, and then the back of the bag is a slip pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, so it is pretty substantial. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of show you how I pack the bag, and you can start to see in here kind of what it looks like. So um, I have my phone, my key case, my wallet, my car key case, and then a catch-all back there with a bunch of um, like toiletry items. So just kind of pulling stuff out, I just have my phone, and then I have my um, car key case, my wallet, my house key case, and then a catch-all. So you can see the inside of the bag right there. It's like a suede interior with a back zip pocket. Now, I don't really tend to use this back zip pocket because I do find it a little bit hard to open and close. Um, it does, you know, if you leave it open, you can certainly fit some stuff back there. Like I could fit hand sanitizer or something back there, but I just don't necessarily use it. And sometimes I put my phone in this front pocket here. Um, you know, just, it depends on kind of how it falls when I am carrying the bag. And just to show you kind of what's inside some of the stuff that I'm carrying, mostly um, this coach wristlet, it is, you know, housing some of my kind of necessary catch-all items. So it has a hand sanitizer, um, some Kleenex, a um, eyeglasses cleaning cloth, and then just a little thing of Vaseline if I have chapped, chapped lips. Um, so one thing I wanted to show you was kind of how the bag would look if I didn't carry the catch-all and instead put some stuff in that back zip pocket. So just showing you here kind of what fits, um, the back zip pocket is right there. So I'm going to slip the hand sanitizer back there and you can see that it just barely fits. Um, I, again, like I said, I won't zip it up because it's kind of annoying to zip and also the hand sanitizer is a little bit too tall for me to zip this up. Um, just throw in some Kleenex. Oops. Uh, the Vaseline, the eyeglasses cleaning cloth, and then that's pretty much kind of full. And then I can start to load my SLGs back in. And so that's what it would look like if I used that back zip pocket. And then I could slip my phone kind of in this front slip pocket here. And it fits perfectly fine, you know, it's not overstuffed in the slightest. Uh, the only other thing that I sometimes like to carry is a portable charger for my phone. Uh, so if you just, this is like a hard carrying case, but this is just a portable charger that I got for free from some kind of event. Um, and it's a pretty hefty, like you can see it's, you know, a pretty large size. So it does take up a fair bit of room in this bag, especially because this bag is kind of pretty structured. Um, so it is you know, it, it is kind of hard to fit more stuff in here. So if I just move my key case and my wallet there, I can kind of wiggle this in to um, this section here. And I made my six key case vertical and that all does still kind of fit and it doesn't look overstuffed at all. Um, I will say that this bag, because it is kind of an all leather bag, full grain leather, very, very nice thick leather, it gets pretty heavy pretty fast. Um, so I try not to overstuff it with a bunch of stuff. Like right now, it's pretty heavy. Actually, in fact, let me weigh it to see how much it weighs. So I just have a postal scale that I bought, you know, on Amazon. Um, and you can see that the bag weighs three pounds and four and a half ounces. So it is a pretty heavy bag when I do stuff it up. So I do tend to try to pack it kind of minimally when I carry it around, um, just to avoid kind of overstuffing it and making it really heavy. Um, you might notice that the one thing that I'm not carrying when I carry this bag is a purse hook. So usually I keep my purse hook in this little pack, little pocket thing that I got from I don't know where. Um, and a purse hook is really useful, like you know when you're going out to a mall and you can just kind of stick your bag. Um, on the side of a table, you know, make sure that it 
stays off the ground but also stays in your sight. Uh, but I don't carry a purse hook with this bag because I don't necessarily love hanging it by this top handle because I've seen a lot of um, used coach court bags that have this handle kind of really sticking up and I enjoy when it lays flat I think it's um, it's a nicer look and it gets in the way less so I try not to hang things off of that strap and then if you hang something you know off of the shoulder strap when it's on like the side of a table then it's just touching the floor anyway so I don't necessarily find a purse look really really that useful with a coach court bag um, yeah so this video was kind of random I know um, but this is, you know, I thought a lot of people like to see the Coach Court bags because they are very beautiful. Um, if you have any requests or ideas of what videos I can do about this bag, again, like I said, I will link the videos I've already done with this bag down below. Um, but if you have any other ideas, please do let me know in the comments below. So I hope you're all, like I said, staying safe and staying healthy, and I will see you next time. Bye.